Hello, I'm Father Paul. I live at Belmont Abbey and I work in Herefordshire. Advent has always been my favourite season, ever since I was a little boy, because it seems to me that Advent has all the best readings, has all the best carols and hymns, and of course it's short, so you don't get bored as you wait for Christmas to come along. But what does Advent mean? Well, the word itself, of course, means uh, coming. And we look forward in Advent to the coming of Jesus, the birth of Jesus at Christmas, of course. But even more so, and I think what it's really about, is that deep yearning, um, looking forward to the, the coming of Jesus at the end of time, the second coming. That essentially is what Advent is, is about. And if you look closely at the hymns and the carols we sing and the readings we hear, of course, they're mostly about the coming of Jesus at the end of time, when he comes as judge and to inaugurate, as it were, the, the kingdom of his Father. And all that is a sign, of course, of God's love for us. Wherever Jesus is, whether it's in the, um, the manger, in the cave at Bethlehem, whether it's calling his disciples or preaching or um, healing people with miracles, or indeed hanging on the cross and rising from the dead. These are all acts of love that um, show us how much and how deeply God loves us because Jesus came to reconcile us with the Father and with one another. And not only that, he came to open for us the gates of paradise and he shows us the way to eternal life. And so Advent is a season of the year when we focus on the love of God made visible in Jesus Christ, who came as a child, as a man in the past, and who is with us now, is always present to us now in the sacraments, in our prayer, reading the Bible, and when we are together. For wherever two or three are gathered together, there is Jesus in the midst of them. Jesus is in each and every one of us. It's a great joy to celebrate the Advent season, and it's a period for looking forward. Children look forward to Christmas, and indeed, the child in us also looks forward to Christmas and celebrating the birth of Jesus. Love who came down at Christmas to be in our hearts and of course in our homes. And this Christmas, this Advent in particular, we pray especially for peace, that the love of God may be experienced by all those suffering the results of war and terrorism in Ukraine, in Sudan, and of course in the Holy Land, in Palestine, in Gaza, and in Israel. We pray for peace, we pray for God's love, and we pray that we, in our own small way, may be instruments of God's peace, of God's love, and of the salvation which Jesus came to share with all God's uh, brothers, uh, God's uh, sons and daughters, I mean, brothers and sisters, of Jesus Christ. So in this Advent season, I wish you peace and love and joy and the presence of Jesus in your hearts and in your homes.